as you can tell from the title, probably I am going to be building a dollhouse. Yes, I felt like building this, I have no idea where this idea came from. I just searched up a picture of a dollhouse and I technically just made it kind of using that idea. So first I'm going to be outlining, right now I'm going to be creating a patio area and this is going to be a three-story dollhouse. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to first start with the exterior like usual and then move on to the inside and change some things around as I go. As you can see now I'm going to be making outlines of where the roofs may go and I'm going to be changing that later on. Hold up a second, purple this is too much, why do people do this? I always chase them down but she keeps running away. Then I asked her if she's actually sure and she says yes, 100%. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now I'm going to be adding in the windows, the main accessory or outlook of the dollhouse. I also decided to go with a dark blue wood color because I felt like I didn't want like a bright pink one like a Barbie house and be mistaken for a Barbie house so I thought this one was really pretty and it fit nicely. By the way, before you say anything about the songs, I know this one is going to be a little bit creepy sounding but I felt like it reminded me of a dollhouse even though this is a happy and cheerful dollhouse and all the musics that I input. I just like them. It doesn't have to fit with the house. Sometimes I just randomly pick them if I like listening to them while editing. So I'm sorry if you don't like them, but I just put them there. I also played around with this because I wanted the roof to go inwards but I didn't really like how it was coming out so I just made this one big wall.
for these two areas, I used three different types of roofing because I wanted some of them to stand out and pop out of the house, giving it more shape, and that's what it perfectly did. Time to move on to the interior and start off with all the decorations. And this is where the kitchen is going to be. I also felt like the house was still a little bit big because I didn't want the kitchen to go out all the way so I decreased the patio size. Before I forgot to tell you that I know I didn't put the back walls because this is a dollhouse so I tried to make it look like a dollhouse by just having an open back and it actually turned out pretty cool. I mean like it's different for role playing and it looks a little weird but you can always fix this if you decide you want this as a real house. And then when I was building, I saw this. This is adorable. Thank you so much. And I love all those Pandolandas out there watching. Okay, wait up. Random comment. Why am I so obsessed with this color wood and texture? I think this is like my favorite texture in Bloxburg. I don't know why I'm saying this, but... People said I should talk more in my videos, and I am, and I'm making up time. So now we're going to be coloring the kitchen. <laughs> Let's continue. You didn't think I would leave that fast, did you? Um, I'm coloring this kitchen a blue color because I thought I would go with the blue theme. This is like a pastel blue. And I like how the kitchen turned out, but then the rest of the house is pretty modern. But it fit well, in my opinion. Then I kept building and I saw the shadow randomly and I'm like, what is that? Then I saw Joanna running around in circles on my build mode box outline and she got even more fans up there while I was building. No, this was not annoying to me, so she's all good. She even asked me if it was okay and I said, sure. I just got a little bit spooked out because I'm like, how is this shadow in my build mode? Then I saw her. Now I feel like more people are going to be doing this in the future. I guess we'll just have a dance party up there. I also remembered that dollhouses have lots of cabinets and they make it look so pretty. Well, from the houses that I played with when I was smaller. Yes, I used to be obsessed with dolls, but now I'm like the total opposite. But that's okay because who doesn't love a good doll play? And I forgot to mention, this part is like a living room area or a chill out area for the dolls.
for this floor, I figured that I would put the bedrooms up here. If by any chance you are rebuilding this, let me just tell you that I'm going to be changing lots of things around because I have no set plan while building, so I'm just telling you that this bedroom will have a bunk bed. Take a look at that, she's watching me build this bedroom and her shadow is right on top of the bed. I also got this carpet idea from my sibling, so all credits to them because I absolutely love it. I also asked the people outside watching me build what color I should do the bedroom. Some said pastel blue, some said pastel pink, and others said mint green. But there was more pinks for this bedroom, so that's what I went with. Now I'm going to be building the fairly bigger room because I had nothing else to do with this space and to not cramp everything together I built a bathroom in here so if you need to use the bathroom in this house yes you have to go through this bedroom but it's right in front of the door so the guests don't even have to go inside the bedroom. Take a look someone looks like an elephant! That's adorable! Let me just say, this bathroom was pretty challenging because I only had three walls and I had no idea how to build this, but we got through it. And now I'm going to be moving on to the bedroom with adding decorations and everything else. I was going to also turn this bedroom into a blue color, but then I'm like, nah, let's go with mint green because I felt like the outside was already blue, so we would change up the colors.
Then to finish up the bedroom, I added a little desk area. And here I just got the idea, why not do bunk beds because we have high ceilings and it's perfect. So I put in a one bed over here, then put in a double bed on the top floor because it looked pretty awesome. Take a look, Joanna got everyone up here with a few people still down there watching me. We're going to first start by putting in some ladders on the sides, then adding in the beds together. Yes, you need the collision check game pass to do this. You can always just put a bigger bed, but I don't think you can put the fences. Now I'm going to be putting in these fancy pillars for stands or to hold it up and that's pretty much it. And here I am with these aesthetic. <gasps> I did it! Oh my gosh, I said it! <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put that in. Oh well, I think I might. With these lights, I felt like this looked aesthetic and tumbler. That didn't make sense, did it? Who knows? Okay! <laughs> Then I thought it would be cool if I added in like a backsplash with the decals that I'm going to be inputting. Also, if you are still listening to this and didn't just skip to the tour, hello there human. Okay, someone has asked me when I was building if I could put in the codes in the description. Yes, I will. And I'm also going to be leaving like a mini note at the end saying that I put in the codes in the description. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of that. If you perhaps like the codes and or want to rebuild the things that I show you. For this top floor, I asked what to build because I had no idea. Then Cupcake gave the amazing idea of a tea room, so that's what I went with. All credits to her on the idea, I just got the things and put them together. I was also thinking of putting doll images or toy images, but you'll see what happens after. Yep, here I go. I'm sorry I forgot to put in the decal codes, and this is me touring it and take a look at this. I'm so sorry. And now, let's continue. I also added in some railing for protection because, you know, me, I would literally fall down the stairs. I don't know why I didn't put fencing all on the back of the house because it didn't have a wall. I'm actually surprised I didn't do that. Next level.
me thinking I'm smart, I added in a mini fridge in the microwave because what was in my mind? I thought that I could make tea out of a microwave. Then before the speed build, I'm like, how do you make tea again? And my fans are like, you get a kettle? And I'm like, hold up, wait a second, I need to remove this microwave and put in a kettle of tea because, oh boy, I couldn't make tea. So sorry, I didn't show that in the video. I didn't know what to put in here, I'm sorry, I was trying not to put plants this whole time, and then I got a little bit carried away. But hey, hey, this is just a bookshelf, and I added like four more other plants during the build, so not counting the roses, the roses don't count because I usually don't use them. And also people said to use like unicorn toys, all the car toys, so that's what I put in the bookshelves because I didn't want them to be empty. And to finish it off, I put in lots of books. Okay, I put in lots of books, I'll admit that. Who doesn't love a good reading time with some books? Yeah, most likely you guys are thinking, what is wrong with you? I sometimes like to read, but since I started YouTube, I haven't read for a while, but I might get back to it, but who knows? Do you like reading? I doubt it because you're watching my video right now instead of reading, right? Are you a good child and going to read right now? Please don't, please finish this video if you're still here, but then you can go read. After you finish my video, <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are my jokes so bad? I'm sorry. Why are you still listening to me? I'm sorry. I keep apologizing. Why am I apologizing? I bet like no one's watching this like the speed build. Cause who would? Not I. Now let's color these bookshelves green. Because who doesn't love a good green? Also, during the speed build, you see me unfollowing and then following back some people because they were telling me that the follow button wasn't working, but I thought it was, so I was a little bit confused on that. Also, if you see me in the game, you can ask me to follow you, but I can't friend you, sadly, because I have over so many requests, and I'm only allowed to friend 200 people on Roblox, so I don't want to be fair to everyone else new to this channel, and whoever joins, the panda went into habitat so I won't be friending any more people unless I have a good reason. I'll be following you only if you ask me in a game. I also didn't want the dollhouse to have the same flooring on each floor, so I just decided to put in this carpet. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but I asked the people outside watching me if this looked good, and they said yes, so I just went with it. I also felt like this space couldn't be empty so I asked also what should I build and they said like a kids area so that's what I did. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I know I'm adding in more plants, I felt like it needed more shape and nature, so that's why I did it. 
I also added bushes. I'm just saying that. And I asked the people watching me, does this look okay? Are you sure that I can add plants? And they're like, yeah, it looks fine. Just leave it. So if you don't like these plants, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Also, I'm obsessed with these lights. As you can see, I literally put them everywhere. I'm sure I'm going to be putting them in every single build that I use from now on. So heads up on that. That's my new addiction. Speaking of addiction, someone in the comments also said that... <laughs> oh my gosh. They said, my strange addiction. I am addicted to plants. They said I should go on that TV show because of this. They were making a joke out of it and I took it in a funny way. So whoever commented that, perfect. I loved it. I just thought in this room I'll just put a table where kids can literally draw an easel to paint and then I'll add in some seating area just in case anyone wants to sit down. I also went with some pastel colors going kind of with the theme of the house and added in some brightness. I put in some plants too because I didn't want the shelves to be empty. I thought it would be kind of cool to add in one large painting because this wall was pretty plain. Right now I'm just adding in some decoration to make the areas a little bit less empty.
I also thought we needed like a coat room or a coat rack so that's what I added down here and I made it like a little doorway that you could just walk in put your coat or clothing or shoes anything away and you can go right into the house right after. As you can tell, I'm kind of obsessed with these carpets too, so I'm sure you'll see more of them in my future builds. And here's me fixing the patio area once again. Mattresses were off because I changed the house as I built, so I'm going to be fixing that right now. I kept asking my fans what to do because I like involving them and I feel bad if they're just standing there for over like 4 hours watching me build. So I added in like a little play pond in the front and I asked them what else should I add. So all the outside decorations were their ideas. And who doesn't love a little rubber ducky? With the bathroom carpet, I created a pathway to the house. Here I'm asking what I'm missing outside and people are giving me ideas. And here we go, something simple. Do a diving board in a pond? Okay, why not? Your wish is by command. While editing, I had this idea. What if someone just spammed me with $1 donations while I was building and recording? Oh, um, I think I'm regretting that idea now. I guess. Oh my gosh, this might happen now. Also, thanks for that $1 army pickle. And this is another suggestion. Lots of flowers!
and someone also said do a picnic area so that's what I did when I was almost done building my screen recording stopped and I didn't notice please forgive me all I added was some more decor and a garage before I keep going please keep in mind I added a 18k car and I also added a bicycle so if you remove those costs then the house is a bit cheaper. So much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye, Panda Landers. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Landers habitat, and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye.